This is Tom Bernanke and today I'm going over all the vitamin D secrets. Did you know in the United States about 50% of people are insufficient and in higher latitudes in Canada, for example, 70 to 90 plus percent of people are said to be insufficient. There's a lot of mistakes people are making and we're going to go over what the studies say and stick around to the end because we're going to show you the big mistake that most people are making and we're starting now. So with vitamin D, there's big mistakes being made. And this is why people are missing out on the huge benefits. Some people are taking too much, but most people are taking too little. And the huge benefits that people could be experiencing, a lot of people are missing out on them. In the United States, for example, 50% of people are insufficient. 35% of people are said to be significantly deficient. And in Canada, for example, about 70 plus percent of people are said to be insufficient. And you know, this problem exists in India, you know, because of pollution, because of clothing, and because of work from home, work on your computer, 35% or more of people are considered to be insufficient. So this is a problem all around the world. But first, there's always the disclaimer. If you have foot pain, bone pain, joint pain, peripheral neuropathy pain, any of the stuff that you're taking this vitamin D for, come get checked out. The real key is getting a blood level test. See where you're at before you start taking large amounts. It's not generally recommended to start taking it just because it is possible to get toxicity. So here's the levels. If you're getting 20 nanograms per milliliter in your blood flow or less, that's considered an insufficiency. And there's a lot of big problems that can develop from this. And these are osteoporosis, higher rates of fractures, poor balance, muscle problems like muscle weakness, insomnia, that means poor sleep, recurrent infections and an immune health problems, especially during COVID, people aren't going outside as much anymore and they're not getting their sunlight and obviously they're more susceptible to health issues, higher rates of cancer, depression, and problems managing their sleep-wake cycle, problems with diabetes, including autoimmune disease such as type 1 diabetes, autoimmune disease like multiple sclerosis, Crohn's disease, heart disease. If you're between 20 nanograms per milliliter and 35 nanograms per milliliter, this is considered to be insufficient. Now, if you're between 35 nanograms per milliliter to 100 nanograms per milliliter, this is considered to be the normal range. So what does vitamin D do? Well, first to understand vitamin D, we have to understand how it's made. It starts as cholesterol in your body, and then it goes from cholesterol to 25 hydroxy vitamin D. The UV light catalyzes this conversion. And then it goes from 25 hydroxy vitamin D to 125 hydroxy vitamin D. Vitamin D is called calcitriol. Here's the important functions calcitriol does in your body. It helps absorb calcium. It helps take that calcium and deposit it into your bones to build stronger bones. It's important in muscle strength. It's important in your immune function. And it's important in regulating your mood as well as depression. Sunlight also, which is related to vitamin D, and that's something we're gonna talk about at the very end, is very important in your circadian rhythms, in your sleep cycle, in your insomnia, in your moods. These are very important things. And this is one of the huge mistakes we're gonna talk about at the end that people are making. Now, the thing with foot pain and leg pain, which is what I specialize in, vitamin D does not act like a medicine that makes your pain go away, but it hits at a, the root of a lot of these things. It can it strengthen your immune system. It can help combat things like diabetes, nerve dysfunction, pain dysfunction, muscle dysfunction. And as all these are in place, you can move more. And in one of my other videos, I talk about how getting the ball rolling, motion is lotion, getting able to get out, move more, having less pain, stronger bones, this just spirals like a snowball into better function and less pain overall. That's the real trick of vitamin D in battling your chronic pain, your arthritis, your joint weakness. So there's four places to get your vitamin D. Number one is the best one. And this is getting sunlight. Specifically in sunlight is UV light. And we're gonna talk about the huge mistakes at the end. But simply 10 to 15 minutes is said to get you everything you need. And the beauty is if you stay out in the sun too long, our body has systems in place where it does not get toxic. Because one of the big problems is toxicity that can build up in your system. 
Number two is in foods. So foods, especially salmon, fish, dairy product, cod liver oil. Number three, a lot of countries, especially up north here in the United States and in Canada, for example, our foods are fortified. So there's extra vitamin D put into our food. Now there's two types of vitamin D. There's vitamin D2, which is from plant sources. That's called ergocalciferol. And then there's vitamin D3, which is what most of your supplements are, and that's called cholecalciferol. And it's cheaper to add vitamin D2 into most of our foods, so that's kind of how our foods are fortified. It's said that vitamin D2 in general is a little bit cheaper, but not as effective, as vitamin D3 is more the human form. Now, that's where supplements come in. So supplements can be good and bad. In almost all cases, I recommend people try and get it from sunlight and food, because supplements Number one could be low quality. Nobody regulates these supplements, but number two is people could not get enough or get too much and not know it. That's where going with your doctor can be important to check your blood level if you think you have toxicity. Now, what's the dosage that you need? Under four, check with your doctor. Ages four to 18, you want to get about 600 units or more per day. If you're age 19 through 50, you wanna get at least 500 units to about 1,000 units per day. That should be the minimum threshold. And if you're over 50, the general recommendation is 1,000 to 2,000 international units of vitamin D. Now, here's kind of the trick. I know I buy my vitamin D in 5,000 units or more. It's very cheap, like it cost me like $15 to buy 180 pills of 5,000 units. Now. The real trick is you might need to check your levels because one of the big mistakes is people are popping 5,000 units and what happens is if you build up over 100 nanograms per milliliter, you can develop certain problems. There's acute, which are short-term problems, and then there's chronic, which are long-term problems. The acute problems, you know, some people think this is good, but it's not good, but you can develop anorexia, weight loss, muscle weakness specifically, like fatigue, not wanting to get up out of bed. You could be irritable, you could get nauseous, you could develop vomiting. And with long-term use, you could develop kidney stones, calcification in your blood vessels. You could develop heart problems such as arrhythmias, and you could develop kidney issues as well, as sometimes permanent damage. So for this reason, don't go crazy just pop in 10,000 units a day every day make sure you're not developing toxicity because at a certain point, it starts getting really bad for you. In studies that I've seen, sometimes they load a large dose of like 50,000 units or 100,000 units, but while this can provide some bone benefits, it doesn't help with the other 13 benefits that we talked about, such as immune health, uh, you know, muscle strength, peripheral neuropathy, diabetes, uh, sleep, mood, it doesn't help with that kind of stuff. Just space it out in a normal level so you're getting your correct amount, you know, 2,000 to 4,000 units per day and make sure you're getting a nice amount at that point. That's where the benefits really kick in. So here's the big mistakes that people are making. Here's why we as a society don't get enough vitamin D. Now with the computer age, with the work from home age, people are not leaving their house as much. It's a stretch for a lot of people to even get 10 to 15 minutes of sunlight. That's a huge, huge mistake. People are wearing clothes. People are putting on sunscreen. Did you know when you put on sunscreen, it stops about 90% of that vitamin D collecting during the day while you're wearing that sunscreen? Um, and that could lower your vitamin D levels. Older age, as people live longer, they don't go outside anymore and they don't absorb it as well. That's been shown. It doesn't convert as well as you're older. People with darker skin tones, they have more melanin. Melanin prevents you from getting sunburned, but it also prevents you from converting vitamin D. So the big mistake that people are doing is they're relying too much on supplements now and missing out on the benefits of UV light. So UV light, going outside for 15 minutes or more every day, it messes up your sleep cycle. People are developing insomnia. People are not sleeping well. Sunlight also gives you antioxidant effects. This is very important for a lot of long-term issues such as peripheral neuropathy specifically, as well as hundreds of other health issues. Not getting proper sunlight can affect your mood as well. So I linked a long interview and video below, but the big thing is when you wake up for your melatonin levels and for your overall brain health, what you wanna do is get some sunlight as early in the morning as possible. And the more you get, the better it gets for your sleep cycle. This has been shown to help with your sleep. 
with your mood. It's been shown to help with your vitamin D levels. So if you can get out for even five to 10 minutes in the morning, this makes a huge difference. But this is the huge, huge mistake. And I make this mistake all the time. Windows block nearly 100% of UV light. So if you're in your car, if you're in your office by a window, this is giving you close to zero UV light and close to zero vitamin D. You physically have to get outside and get exposed to it. So if you can take a lunch break, if you can eat your sandwich or your lunch outside, if you can go for a light stroll for five to 10 minutes, this is better than any supplement. It's great for your mood. It's great for your joint pain, your bone density. You don't have to worry about toxicity. You know, rely on your body. Your body is built to create vitamin D. And maybe that's a wake up call to our society with COVID, with staying inside all day, get out there, get your sunlight and take advantage of these benefits. 10 minutes a day is so good for your health. You know, you can do it, definitely. All right, guys, if you wanna learn more about light therapy, I have some great video links below and how great for your health it is. Thank you.